Yo guys, what's up, it's X-Rays, and welcome back to another video. So we are going to be checking out the Global Actor Blueprint that you get at level 38 of the Battle Pass. I'm excited to check it out, see how it performs in-game, and, uh, you know, it actually looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so we don't miss a single upload. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak and Ape Controller. I use them every single time that I play. Code OG Xperience gets you a discount link down below to that or through my Amazon influencer page. If you guys would much rather do it that way, like I said, 25% off all orders over 249. Lifetime warranty on Ape Controller. If the paddles break, anything modded breaks, they will pay to fix it, not you. And then Control Freak, protect your sticks from wearing out. Cheapest, best investment you can make. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So as you guys should see, the promotional, it looks pretty cool. Now it is rare. It's not a legendary tier. So I'm not really expecting a lot, but it still looks pretty cool, at least in the menu. And we're going to see how it looks like in game, but gold and kind of like a bluish color. It, it looks kind of decent. So let's go ahead. Let's check out the class loadout for this guy. It's using the Mercury Silencer, Sound Suppression, Recoil Control, the Short Barrel for ADS speed and Sprint to Fire speed, no optic, which I think we're going to slap a 2.5 time. The Emerito SA Folding, for sprint to fire speed and movement speed. We have the uh, no proficiency. We have quick as the kit, fabric as the rear grip for ADS speed, recoil control for hip fire, and then the Mark VI skeletal for ADS speed. So you can move, you get ADS very quick with this thing. So let's go ahead and add some attachments after this first game. So we're gonna see how this thing works out with just the base things. I'll even take off the optic on it just to see how it performs. Base weapon, no other attachments. So let's check it out. Now let's check it out. Check out the aesthetics, baby. Uh, looks pretty cool. It has quite a bit of recoil, actually. Not really that impressed with the time to kill. Ooh. Wow, this thing has massive recoil. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this weapon so far. I can't use it really in the play cell that I like. It, it's decent. It's got decent hip fire accuracy. But I'm not a I'm just not a big fan of this weapon overall. I like how fast you ADS, but it's not worth it if like your recoil is just all over the place. And it feels like the damage range is not that great as well. I'm getting killed a lot, like very quickly. I'm definitely going to change some settings here. Trying to make this thing a little bit better, a little more competitive, because right now it's uh, pretty rough. I think that guy was injured. Come on. Gonna get a nice shot. Uh, looks pretty good. Oh, I accidentally put this thing on single fire. Yeah, I don't like how it doesn't show the whole gun in the uh, inspection animation. It's kind of weird. Come on. There's just so many moments like right there where it's just uncompetitive. I'm getting melted and then these dudes are like walking all over me so definitely not too happy with this blueprint it looks nice the performance is just not really there in my opinion and with how fast the fire rate feels like it is to have that slow of, i mean it's not it's not like super slow time to kill it's just that everyone else's time to kill is so much faster that i'm getting melted before i can even think 
So I'm definitely gonna address some of the shortcomings here. It doesn't also have a ton of ammo, which I'm not really too thrilled by. All right, let's deck this out. We're gonna start by adding a scope. We're gonna add vital. And we're gonna swap quick for fully loaded. We'll leave that alone. We'll put 60 rounds on this guy. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just do this. Ammo type will go with hollow point. Gonna want a little more recoil control, so we're gonna swap out the front grip just because it's not gonna change the aesthetics a ton. What did change was the magazine and the front grip, but literally everything else stays the same. We're gonna leave it alone. Let's see how this thing performs now with this setup. Okay. Still has quite a bit of recoil, but it's not as bad. Oh God. Oh, oh, still, it's still pretty quick to ADS, all things considered. But overall, I'm feeling this one a little bit more than what we've had previously. Oh, yeah. Man, it really is starting to hit me. Maybe, maybe I do want to still add something to make the recoil a little better. We'll see. It might just be like a super close range weapon, which I can totally respect and I'm totally cool with. Yeah, okay. Where the hell did this guy come from? <laughs> what? You little bastard. Little Semtex. Oh, am I even getting shot from? Oh, uh, they're just shooting through the door, huh? Let me tell you what I think of shooting through the door. Reload, reload, baby. We got another UAV. Yeah, get him, bro. Get him. <laughs> this dude had the special outfit with the big ass head. guy had to pop up out of nowhere yeah this class is definitely way better than the uh, the base weapon Bombs popping off right now, dude. All right. Oh, 
Yeah, I gotta say, overall performance with the setup that I just put together is really good. It looks like a decent one. It actually, once you put some attachments on this thing, it feels like a legendary blueprint, aesthetically wise too. So I gotta say, pretty happy with this guy. Pretty decent once you add some attachments. Not so great base, but I mean, I think they did it that way so you could customize it the way you want to, which I'm totally cool with. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak and Ape Controller. I use them every single time that I play. Code OGX gets you a discount. Link down below to that. Or through my Amazon Influencer page if you guys would much rather do it that way. Give me a follow over on Twitter at OGX if you guys want to talk, interact, see what I'm up to. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.